Hello, everybody. Uh, we had some technical problems for this match, but now everything is solved, and we hope we will not have problems during the stream. So here we are in the first match of the Predator One Pool 10 by 4 and this time Sergio Lagunas will be with me. Hello, Sergio. Hello, Alberto. Hello. Uh, he will be helping me with the score and everything, and we hope everything will be okay. So uh, this time we have these four amazing players. We have Fernando Cano Sedano from Spain. We have Carlo Viado from the Philippines, Elijah Alvarez from the Philippines as well, and Saeko Izumi from Japan. Hello, how are you? Yeah, looks like you are ready. So, yeah, uh, if you are ready, guys, uh, Fernando and Carlo will play first. So, good luck and let's see action. So let's go with the first break. Yeah, you can break, Carlo. So, yeah, if you're Carlo, you can break. Okay. So let's see the first break, first match of the day, and we're still in the last 64 round. And Fernando made the ball on the break, and he can play without body hand, I think. Same as Carlo. Oh, good break for them. So it looks like there they go, playing for 15 points. Like no problems for Fernando on this table. Same as Carlo. He needs a draw shot now. Looks like camera of Carlo is frozen. that shot and we hope we can fix this problem with Carlo uh, seven points for Fernando in this first break Looks like seven points also for Carlo. Eh, Andrés, ¿qué hacemos? 
porque no se ha visto la partida, tío. La, la puntuación se queda, que la hemos visto nosotros. Sí. Ok, so, seven points for Carlo. And now turn for Elijah and Saeko. You can break. Not so good hit on this break from Psycho, and it's dry. So, zero points for Psycho. And let's see Elijah. He got qualified on one of the qualifiers, and he showed really great performance. Look at this break. Great keyboard control, but I'm not sure if he has a shot on the one. Probably, yeah. He's checking how to make position. And he missed. So, it was two points for Raja. This first inning, he went a bit risky in this first rack. So now turn for Fernando and Carlo. Second break. Uh, Carlo, you can break. Good break from Fernando. He made two balls on the break. But I'm not sure if it's possible for him to play the one. Looks like, yeah. So he's playing for 15 points again. And I think Carlo can do it also. Let's see this position for the three ball. Wow, looks like Carlo found the gap between the four and ten. And he can make the three. Perfect cable control. Yeah, he made it. So after that shot, I think he can play the five, the side, and then finish the last two balls. Well, Fernando had a not easy shot now and he missed, so four points for him.
So, fifteen points for Carlo. Yeah. Now turn for Elijah and Psycho. Let's see the second break. Okay, good break from Elijah, but I think he has to be one hand this time. Better hit on this break from cycle, but looks dry. So zero points for her. Elijah took Bonnie Han. So he's playing for ten this time. Elijah, that's a good position. This six ball on the side will allow him to make a good position on the eight. He's playing for 10 points. So he made it, 10 points for Raja in the second break. And now turn for Fernando and Carlo. Break number three. Carlo, you can break. break from Carlos who made four balls and I think he can make the two on the side with a bunny hand. No. Carlos took bunny hand. Fernando as well so they are playing for 10 points.
looks like no problems for Fernando on this rack. Famous Carlo, he needs two more balls to score 10 points. So, 10 points for Carlo. Fernando is almost straight on the 10 ball. And 10 points for him. So now turn for Elijah and Psycho. Break number three. from Elijah. He has a good shot on the one. And this time Saiko was able to make one ball on the break. Let's see if Psycho can make the two ball on the side. It should be a good layout to play for, for 15 points. So yeah, looks like she can make it. Um, on Elijah side. Let's see what he can do. From four to six. Perfect position from Elijah on this one. And good shot from Psycho. She has to make this one. And then she could play the six on the side or in the corner. It's not a problem. Oh, she missed. So five points for Psycho. Elijah needs one more to score 15 points on this rack. And he made it. So 15 points for Elijah. 
now turn for Fernando and Carlo. Break number four. Okay, I'm checking comments now before I didn't have the chat of Facebook. And we have Chucky saying good morning and supporting Fernando and Sherwin asking how much price for this tournament. I don't really know, but I think you can check it on One Sports TV or in the website. And Carlo made five balls on the break. <laughs> that was amazing. He took one hand. But I think Fernando can play for 15 points. So let's see, Fernando is playing for 15. And Carlo needs one more ball to score 10 points. He made it so fast, but it's normal. He made five balls on the break. So 10 points for Carlo. And we have Alex Montpellier saying us, good morning. Good morning, Alex. We hope you are practicing for your next match. A small kiss there from Fernando, but it was good. Let's see if she can avoid, avoid the corner pocket with the cue ball. So perfect shape on the eight. speed it a little bit oh. oh miss from Fernando it was important because he was playing for 15 points so 8 points for him and now turn for Elijah and Saiko. Break number four. Good break from Elijah. And again, he has a good shot on the one. He's having really good cue ball control. 
and also good control of the one ball. And it's a drive break from Psycho again. So, zero points for her. It would be really difficult for her, for her if she can't find the break. Oh, oh, look at that. And I just scratch after that shot. So it was one point, right, Sergio? Yes, one point. Okay. So now turn for Fernando and Carlo. Break number five. Good break from Carlo, he made two balls in this break. And Fernando losing the cue ball control a little bit, but I think he can play the one from there. So Carlo is playing for 15 points. He had really good position for the one. Good shot from Fernando, who wanted to hold the cue ball with the eight. And he's playing for 15 points as well. Oh, a bit mm. over speed on that shot, but I think he can play the four on the side, try to use two cushions to come back to the five. No, he's taking to follow it. Yeah. Long shot and come back to the center of the table. Oh, one more cushion. Yeah, it's it's good also. Meanwhile, the other is cleaning the table without problems. One more ball to score 15. So, 15 points for Carlo. Good shot on that one from Fernando. Now he's almost frozen to the cushion and let's see If it's not a problem for him to make position on the nine. Oh, 
o oh, he missed. So, seven points for Fernando. Now turn for Elijah and Psycho. Second time from Fernando that he missed, like, for 15 points. So, Psycho, you can break. Oh, Elijah scratch and break. And Psycho as well. Oh my God. So, zero points for them. Now turn for Fernando and Carlo. Break number six. Half of the match is done and the score is Carlos leading with 57 points. In second place for Fernando with 36. Third place for Elijah with 28. And last position for Saeco with 5 points. Saeco made 2 balls on this break, but she scratched. So she lost her chance to score more points. Oh, good break from Carlo and looks like he can play for 15 again. One ball is so close to the pocket. Um, Fernando made one ball, but this time he doesn't have the chance to play for 15, so he's taking ball in hand. Good stroke on that shot from Carlo. Perfect position to make a two ball on the side now. If Fernando is able to solve these three, four, five balls, it will be okay for him. Same as Carlo, let's see his position from four to six. He made so good position the sixth throw. It looks good for him. Long shot from Fernando and he made it. Almost perfect on the eight. Let's see if he would play it soft. Yeah, looks like yeah. We we'll play the nine on the other corner pocket. And Carlo made fifteen points. 
after that ten ball. Oh, not so easy position now for Fernando. But it's makeable. Oh. Uh, okay. Too thick. So, nine points for him. And now turn for Elijah and Psycho. Like number six. Miss on the last ball from Fernando, but this time it wasn't so important. It was only one point he missed. Not like in the previous racks. Oh, Elijah almost scratch again. But he didn't. And I think he has to play body hand. Oh, Psycho on the scratch also. He made two balls on this break. So she's able to play this time. She's taking money hand. Elijah also took money hand, so. They are playing for 10 points. Oh, Psycho missed. Wow, probably she was more focused in the position for the next shot. So it was two points for Psycho. Meanwhile, Alaja is already on the 10 ball. So 10 points for him. Now turn for Fernando and Carlo. Break number seven, so it means four more breaks to finish. Look at that break from Carlo. He got the kiss on the cue ball in the last moment, but he had really good cue ball control. So, Fernando took one in hand. Same as Carlo. So they are playing for 10 points. And we have Piotr, Philip, Mikoski, Senas, 50 stars. Thank you very much. And if I'm not wrong, you have to play later, right? Good position from Carlo on that two ball. Oh, long shot now. 
San Fernando. Es que no te dice. Sí. Wow, good shot from Fernando. He made pretty good position for that one. Good kiss on the nine. He plays it perfect for the next shot. Carlo making the eight, and let's see this position from nine to ten. When the ball is so close to the pocket, sometimes it's not that easy to control the field ball after, but he made it perfectly. So it was ten points for Carlo. And 10 points for Fernando. Great run out from both players. And now turn for Elijah and Psycho. I can see some comments in Japanese on our YouTube chat, but I don't understand. I guess they are supporting Psycho. So is it try again? Yeah. Wow, so zero points for Psycho. Elijah made two balls in the break. And I think he has to take Bonnie Hunt. He was a bit unlucky because the one ball is so close to the pocket, but the four ball is on the way. So he is playing for 10 points. Shot from that one from Elijah. I'm curious what he will do with the five ball. Oh, is it okay for him? Yeah, I think so, I think. He can make the five. Let's see the shot. Yeah, he made it. He made also the nine and perfect on the eight. <laughs> really good shot from this 
Junk man. So, 10 points for Elijah. Now turn for Fernando and Carlo. Break number eight. Three last breaks for them. Break from Fernando and really good opportunity for him to play for 15. And really amazing break from Carlo. Look at that one so close to the corner pocket, two on the side, four on the other corner. Probably his problem will be with the eight ball. And let's see Fernando. He's checking if he can play the three ball on that corner. Follow shot, but now Fernando is frozen to the cushion. He's not in the best place to play this shot. But let's see if he can focus on making it. Ah, oh, he missed. He missed so. Three points for Fernando. And the other made perfect position on the eight. It was probably his only one problem. And he made it perfect. So, it was 10 or 15 points for Viado, Sergio? 15 points. 15 points, okay. Yeah. So, now turn for Elijah and Psycho. Elijah Psycho, I think Elijah has a good chance now to fight for the second place with Fernando. Oh. So, dry break again from Psycho. It's not her day for sure. So, zero points. And Elijah lost the control of this cue ball. He almost scratched on the side, but he didn't. So he takes pony hand.
Let's position the two. Let's see from three to four what he will do. Draw it a little bit. Yeah, I think so. Looks good. Just stop the cue ball on the ten and play the five on the side. Oh, he almost made the carom. We remind you that if you make a carom or combo on the 10 ball, you win the rack. So one more ball for Elijah to score 10 points. And he did it. So now turn for Fernando and Carlo. Break number nine. Two more breaks to finish. And looks like the fight is between Fernando and Elijah for the qualification to the next match. Yeah, really, dry breaks are brutal in this format, but oh, look at that scratch from Fernando. He was a bit unlucky. So, zero points for him. Yeah, look at that break from Carlo. Perfect one. He can play for 15, and we could see a new record. So yeah, I was saying really that yeah, three breaks on this format are really brutal as you said, but all the players are in, on the same conditions. So, I mean, same rules. So if you want to go far in a tournament like this, you need a good, bre good break. So let's see from five to seven, it shouldn't be a problem. He has a pretty big area to lift the cue ball. So 15 points looks like. Actually the record on this tournament is 108 points if I'm not wrong it was made by, by Aloysius Yap and looks like Carlo wants to break the record yeah really in a competitive level you need also a good break So looks like another 15 points for Carlo. Wow. Yeah. N new record. Yeah, new record. And he has one more break. So Elijah and Saeko, break number nine.
Elijah has a really good chance to get small lead from Fernando. Yeah, people are writing on the comments. Good chance to win the boy. That's his nickname. And dry break again from Saeko. Wow, I think after that, after this match, probably she will practice more the temple break for the next time. So let's see this break from Elijah. Wow, oh, perfect cue ball control. And shot on the one. Shot on the one. He can make the two without problems, I think. So, good chance to make 15 points. If he makes it, Fernando has the chance only to tie up the score. So it could be perfect for Elijah. Bit short on that shot, but it's okay for him. He has a good angle to get into the four. Perfect position the four. He has small angle to put the cue ball out of the rail. Yeah. Again, perfect to find position for the six. He's pretty confident on this rack. Looks like there is no pressure for him. Two more balls to score 15 points. And yeah, he's perfect on the 10. So he made it. So Let's go with the last rack now. So we will play this time from the lowest score to the highest. So first break is for Saeko. So Saeko, you can break. Then the next one will be Fernando. So yeah, you are right, Willy. Sometimes some professional players are hitting really good the rack, but they are not making balls. That's why sometimes I say that it was scratched from Psycho. So, zero points for her. Now, turn for Fernando. So I, I have to make 15. Mm, yeah, if you want to have a chance. Yeah, you have to make 15. So let's see this break from Fernando. Oh, 
Oh, really good hit. He made two balls and I'm not sure if he can cut the one on the side or in the corner. Looks like he's going to the corner. Ah, uh, he missed so two points for Fernando. And um, now turn for Elijah. Elijah, you can break. So after that mistake from Fernando, we already have the two players qualified from this match. Carlo as first place on, of this match and Elijah second. break from Elijah. He made two balls. And he's playing for 15 points. Good shot. I'm putting the eight and the six. He's playing really fast now. He's perfect on the 10. And he made it so. 15 points for Elijah. Now turn for Carlo. Last break. On this match. And he could make the record even higher. Amazing performance. He made five times 15 points. And then four times ten points. Look at that break. One ball on the side and he has a perfect shot on the one. If we watch this rack probably the only one problem could be no the problem could be from two to three and maybe that seven ball so let's see He find he found a good way to make position the three. Yeah, Chris, we are having a bit of lag this time. That's why we started the stream 
bit later. He looks straight on the five. And let's see the shot on the seven. Oh, good shot. This one is not easy. Is he throwing the cue ball? Is it follow? Follow, I think. Yeah. Yeah, boy, the kiss on the 10. Perfect position on the 9. That looks like another 15 points. There he is. 15 points again. So, please, players, if you can stand in front of the camera. Yeah, Elijah, please. Come in front. He's not, oh, okay, he's there. So, first of all, congratulations to Carlo and Elijah. Thank you. Especially to, to Carlo. He made a new record in this tournament, 127 points. The previous record was 108, so it was really amazing performance from you, Carlo. It was a pleasure to watch you playing and we hope the best for you in the next round. And same for uh, Elijah. You were fighting with Fernando till the end and you made uh, an amazing comeback. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. So, Fernando, uh, you were fighting till the end, then you had one scratch on the break. I think it was really hard for you, but yeah, you made a good match. You should be happy with yourself. So and we hope to see you in the next tournament. How are your feelings? You want to say something? Yeah, maybe in Spanish if you want. I was very happy with my break. I was training a lot. Uh, but the ratio of the Philippine players uh, stopped. Uh, and congratulations. Okay. Thank you very much. And Saiko, I think the break was not so good for you today. You had only two chances to play this time. But... Yeah, we know you can make it much better. We hope to see you in the next tournament. And what to say? Just practice a break. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> so that's all. Uh, Philippines players advance to the next round. Thanks to all the fans, to all the viewers, One Sports TV for this show. And see you soon. The next match should be in nine minutes. We hope to bring it in time, but it will be difficult. So we will be back as soon as possible. Thank you and bye-bye. Ciao.